What a wonderful message and so beautifully delivered by Wendy. Now, in case you were wondering where she was at the end of that talk, it was our very own church drive. The team at Camford have installed a full-size nativity display, which is all lit up with lights up the drive. So I encourage you to head down with a flask of hot chocolate and a mince pie, maybe, just to really immerse yourself in the Christmas story. But right now, it is time for the lightning craft. Four minutes of frenzied making, just out of everyday stuff that you have at home. And you know the drill, don't you? I'll give you a theme, there'll be a four minute timer on screen, and then you have that time to make your offering. Please do then post pictures of it in the WhatsApp group or by email to Sharon. And then a winner of this week will be picked on Monday at 1 p.m. Just to let you know that next week will be the last breakfast at nine for 2020. So the winner of this craft gets to choose the last splat victim of the year. We will have to have, um, we're then having a Christmas break and we come back on the 3rd of January. So don't forget, just pictures of the craft, please, and no faces or people so that we can include it next week in our craft montage. Right, so I thought I'd be a little bit more precise about the craft today. Now, Wendy spoke about the Christmas story from the perspective of the shepherds. And it's easy to forget sometimes that these were real people making big decisions. And so to help you put yourself in their shoes, for the lightning craft today, we want you to make a set of four simple reminders. So she mentioned how they must have gazed in wonder at the stars. So the first symbol uh, could be a star. I've done a very simple one here just to show you. Um, and then, of course, the angels appeared to deliver their message. So you could do an angel or you could do um, a halo. I've just done a little one here out of uh, pipe cleaners. Um, then, of course, the shepherds must have heard and just marvelled at that singing from heaven. So you could add a musical note or uh, perhaps an instrument of some sort. And then finally, after all of that amazement, uh, they had a choice to make, didn't they? Were they prepared to leave their sheep and to go to the baby Jesus? So the final symbol could be uh, an arrow to show action. Now, I've just done really simple examples there, but you could make it out of anything that you have at home, or you could draw them all on a bit of paper so that you have something to remind you. Um, but maybe as the final thing, you could stick them um, stick them up somewhere on a window or on a wall to remind you of the choice those shepherds made and to challenge you to put Jesus at the heart of this Christmas. So are you ready? Four symbols in three, two, one, go. <laughs> 